Nicole Ledger went to her ex-fiance's house to pick up her stuff. It was lunchtime, so they ate spaghetti. But this was no typical marinara recipe. Cops say Michael Adams put a special ingredient in the sauce, a knockout drug. Take a few bites, you know. I need to get my stuff and the room starts spinning. That's Nicole's dramatic audio statement to Frisco, Texas police detective Scott Greer. I feel it really hitting me, and then it just starts hitting me even faster and faster. What Nicole says happened next will shock you. Walks me into the bedroom and takes off all my clothes and then pulls out a, a, um, a really large and <clears throat> I'm saying no, but I can't do anything. I can't move my arms or my legs. Nicole says Adams began to brutally assault her with a sex toy. We've never right. used toys like that at all. And, um, and he bends me over and puts it, puts it in and starts taking a bunch of pictures. And, and I was out. I was passed out. Have you ever taken pictures before or? I was taking okay. But never like, not with like that. And I mean, we've never never played with any toys at all. So what's the next thing that you remember? Waking up being tied, my hands behind my back. Hog tied with rope, her mouth gagged with duct tape. I've got a ton of duct tape. It's like all the way from here, all the way up to here. There's a raft around me. The next thing I remember, I'm banging on his neighbor's door. I know, I know he untied me. Nicole managed to get away from her captor. She told police that she ran out of the house naked and screaming for help, but he caught her and dragged her back for yet more torture. Nicole said Adams dragged her into the garage, but being the obsessive neat freak he was, Adams first threw her on top of a tarp, cuffed her hands, and zip tied her ankles. Then he cut off her hair. He cut off all my hair too. I have a mess now. I tried to pull it out and then he just cut it out. How would Nicole escape from the demon she once thought was her angel? She tried wiggling out of the restraints. It took me a while to, I, I untied myself. I just kept playing with it and finally it came undone. But she couldn't slip out of the handcuffs. Nicole realized the only way out, the only way to save her life was talking nice. What were you saying nice to him? Like, what are, you, what are you planning on doing? I'm like, are you, are you going to kill me? He's like, I don't, I don't know what I'm doing yet. I'm like, you just need to calm down. You just overreacted. You know, we need to go to therapy. We can work through it all. Nicole promised Adams she wouldn't press charges if he let her go. But there was no way she could keep that promise. Did you want to file charges on him? Absolutely. I want to bury him. OK. It, absolutely, I want to. He's going to kill me. I fully believe he's going to kill me. He cannot control his anger. How long is it going to take for you guys to go get him? Uh, still got to dig through a few things. Are you serious? But, uh, well, we'll solve can't go pick some. him up right some. now? I'm working on it. He's going to end up killing me. Cops quickly got a search warrant, and in Adam's spotless white Lexus, they found the evidence. The sex toy, the rope and zip ties, and duct tape with her hair all over it, and the spaghetti and the jar of sauce. The poison spaghetti was still in the back of the car? He had taken all the stuff from what he had done the day previous, and he was going to get rid of it. But he got arrested before he could do that. Adams was busted, pleading not guilty to charges of sexual assault and aggravated kidnapping. I'm going to give this to you, and if you would just swab it on the both sides of your cheek, we'll put it in the box and then seal it up, and that'll be it. This police video shows detectives taking a DNA swab from Adams. Despite the severity of the charges that could mean life in prison, Adams made bail. Nicole was petrified he would track her down and kill her. So they moved to another town in another county. It would be the last move they would ever make. Next, an obsession turns into terror. It sounds diabolical. I would agree. And the police detective who took protect and serve to a whole new level.